Howdy everyone, Lordy here with Lord's Lair, your source of out of this world gaming interviews. And today I bring you a brand spanking new review. Today we're going to be looking at the Hulkbuster Marvel Legends. So let's look at some box art, give you a description of the character, and then we'll get right down into it. So as you can see, he does come with a number of accessories there, alternate alternate hands, hands, and then some uh, some more armor pieces and, and weaponry. Side of the box, you get some nice box art. It gives you a description of the character on the back with the same box art that's on the side. That description states A specialized suit designed by Tony Stark, the Hulkbuster armor, allows him to stand toe to toe with the Hulk when needed. So, a barcode on this figure, if you guys would like it, is 5010996244208. So, without further ado, let's bust this bad boy open. All right, so here's a look at him out of the box before I put any extra accessories on him. We give him a full rotation there, and we'll talk about the accessories. So you've got the back piece, then you've got the chest piece. This obviously isn't on the figure right now, but as soon as he gets around, we'll put it on it, do another rotation so you, so you can see how he looks with those accessories. And we'll go ahead and put his alternate head on as well during that second revolution. So these these pieces just pop together onto the figure. Go around his chest like that. So let's get that on. So now they're on. But I probably have to take them off to actually put the head on. So let's do that. Just in case you're wondering what that neck joint looks like. Here's that alternate Tony Stark head. That's a little tough to pop together, I will say that. Um, so on the back here, you've got places for the exhaust pipes. Those are actually not weapons like I originally thought. And they just go right onto the figure like this. Maybe it's for a fuel cell or something like that, but I said exhaust pipe. It's kind of what it looks like to me. They just pop right into those back pieces. You have alternate hands as well. We'll go ahead and throw those on. They're closed fist hands. And here's your alternate ones. They're open. We'll talk about some articulation with this figure too while we're doing the second rotation here. Or actually, we'll go ahead and show. So on the feet, there is some pretty fair articulation up and down, side to side too. Pretty good motion. And then that's all the angle you get on his leg. It is a single joint, it looks like. Oh no, it's a double joint. So you actually have more. That's really good on a sit figure this size. And then at the at the waist there, you do have a, or a thigh. You have the thigh swivel. And then at the actual waist, it looks like you have full range of motion as well. Get his hand out of the way. Full range of motion as well. That's a really good amount of articulation for the legs on this size figure if you ask me. And he actually also has a, a, a swivel at the waist. It's also a plus. And he has the uh, torso wobble, torso wobble if you want to call it that. Then at the arms it's uh, single jointed elbows so that is all you get on the elbows and then the standard uh, range of motion on the hands in and uh, in out, uh, no up and down, but in and out, and then you know you can swivel it. And at the shoulder, just standard, no butterfly joint or anything like that. The head, that is as far up as it can look, and then that is as far down as it looks. So as of right now, that's the only negative in my opinion about this figure. Let's do another full rotation there, guys. And again, we'll show you those alternate accessories one more time. You've got the actual Hulk Buster head. I don't think you get any range of motion on this except for like turning. We'll pop it back on though to make sure. Got the alternate open hands. Then we got the fist hands on there. Let's go ahead and pop that other head back on, see the range of motion on there. That's kind of tough to get back off there.
range of motion on this one, I was correct. There is no up and down movement whatsoever, which is fine. I think, like I said, that's the only negative about this figure. It is outstanding, if you ask me. I'm gonna go behind me here and grab a couple figures to show you how this figure looks compared to some of the figures that we've already had. So here's a size comparison with the old Hulk, old, old Toy Biz Hulk Buster. As you can see, he towers above him. And what kind of Hulk Buster review would this be if we didn't give you a size comparison to the Hulk? This is the 80th anniversary, if I'm not mistaken. 80th anniversary, I believe. I'm gonna get a standard size figure for you too. Actually have a Punisher here close by, so you can see the size comparison to a regular six inch figure or a regular six, six inch uh, scale figure. So he's gonna do a rotation there so you can see that. Absolutely massive figure. Love the figure. It really has it for the review today, guys. Once again, this is Lordy from Lord's Lair, your source of how this world gaming interviews.